We're nice to have you back, Matt. And today we're going to be spilling the beans on exactly what your agent should be doing to help you sell your house. Yep, yep. So last week we covered off um, the agents just appraised your property. Yeah, and yep. wanted to know how do they go about that appraisal? Yeah, yeah. So um, we're, it's, it's all about recent sales. It's all about finding sales as close to the house as possible. Um, uh, sales that. Um, as, as similar houses as possible, you know, so if, so if it's a double bay villa, you'd, you look for one of those. Um, you go on the CV, you go on the land size, you go on the condition of the house, you go on um, what the house is made out of, if it's made out of um, plaster, obviously that's quite a big factor. Um, your neighbours can be a real factor if there's a, you know, gang pad next door, we need to, need to take that into consideration. <laughs> oh yeah, great security though, yeah, <laughs> yeah. if anything, you know, it's always positives, isn't there? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, and what else should they be doing, you know, uh, when it comes to that sort of relationship that yep. you've got with yep. your agent? You know, you've got your house ready, you're going on the market, you've got the appraisal, what happens next? So you've chosen your agent, um, they would come around, they would go through the listing agreement with you, and these days it's all about transparency and real estate. Um, they need to make it really clear every single thing in that document that you're signing to. Mm -hmm. So you'd sign up the agency agreement, they would work together with you to get your property, you know, ready to go to market. Mm -hmm. um, they would have organised um, your target market by this stage and, and they should be coming out with a marketing plan um, to attract those people to your property. Should they be getting all the documents for you as well yep. involved with the house, like all the council documents, things that you might not have got yourself? Yep, abs abs absolutely. So they need to get the title, they need to get the limb minimum. Um, they should be running through the limb, you know, reading for any curveballs. You don't want a curveball, you don't want like a, um, a floodplain or something that would affect, you know, that possibly might affect your property to kind of jump out halfway through the campaign. So you're wanting your agent to run through the limb run through everything, make sure that everyone's really clear on, 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 on positives and negatives. For people who might not know, what is a limb report? Uh, it's all the information about your property, um, basically from from the get-go, from when it was built, um, every, all the additions that have been done to the property, um, any drainage that's been done to the property. So it's basically, okay. it's a it's but it's the full history of that property. Make sure there's no curveballs, nothing yep. weird. I remember looking at a property once, and then we realised there was a very weird sewage thing going on with it. So we stepped back from the property yeah, after yeah. the limb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you got all that out of the way. Let's go back to marketing. So I heard you mention that before. Yep. Um, how does your agent help you with that? Yeah, so the agent should be, again, so they found the target demo, they should be um, writing, they'll come up with the marketing spiel, right. um, they'll, they'll physically put together all of the marketing, so you've got your, your trifolds, um, you've got your sign outside your property, um, I do a lot of Facebook advertising these days, mm -hmm. um, you've got you know, Herald Homes, Property There's Press, home there. there are all of these places um, where, where your agent will know where you need to be and what you should be saying when you're there, I guess. And how does the agent decide where you need to be, like what works? Younger uh, people want Facebook? Yeah, I mean, um, Facebook's cool these days. I mean, well, even, I mean, Facebook, so that yeah, I mean, I mean, like <laughs> younger people are on Facebook, but the younger people have parents and they have people yeah. that are looking for properties too. Yeah. And um, the agent should know where you need to be for sure. Yeah. Okay, so we've got all of that in place. We know who's looking after what. For those people that are about to go to market and have got their agents sorted, can you sum up for us in 30 seconds everything Ooh. that you have just seen? It's like a quiz show. No, no pressure. Yeah. Go. So you're basically handing it over to your agent. Yeah. Your agent needs to get everything ready to to draw people into your open homes. They need to have sorted out who they're talking to, get them in. Um, they need to make sure that your house is looking the best possible, the the, the best possible that it can. Yeah. Um, you know, to attract buyers once they're there, um, and, um, and 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 once the buyers are there, um, it's our job to obviously work with those buyers, sort out the wheat from the chaff. Wow. Make it pretty and sell it. Yeah. Give them everything they need. Um, it's all about communication. M my job's as much about people as it is about houses. Yeah, and it's like you said a couple of weeks ago, you know, you've got to have a relationship with your, your salesperson and uh, I tell you what, you are a good one to have, Matt, Thank and you. everyone else. Thank you very much. Matt O'Brien from Barfoot and Thompson for coming in.